Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Romalyn and I am a vegan with a lot of pets. At least I think I have a lot of pets. For today's video, I am going to show you how I feed all my animals. Um, yeah. I am going to show you how I feed them and what I feed them. If you like this video or my animals, please be sure to like and subscribe. Your support is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. Right, Carbon? So let's get to it. Okay, so first on the list is Carbon. And um, I know she is a night animal, but since I've had her, she's gotten used to being fed in the morning because I used to have rabbits. And um, before I leave to go to work, I would feed my rabbits. It's been a habit since then, so she's gotten used to it. And what I feed her is, as you can see, unlimited amount of hay, and I feed her pellets. So I use Oxbow brand a lot. I've used it for several years now, and I trust them a lot. And I like how they have um, a variety of products. With chinchillas, you're not really supposed to give them a lot of pellets. I would say like maybe two tablespoons at the most but I take the scoop and I feed her one scoop of pellets and she, usually in the morning she'll be down here, she'll be either here or here waiting for the pellets. I give her either orchard grass hay or Timothy hay. I usually buy like I want to say 10 pounds and that lasts her for like a good six months or so. I usually grab my bag of hay and my cats eat this also. I don't know if I'm the only one who has cats that eat hay but they do. You can eat that hay. That's cool I guess. So I just give her like a good bit. This will usually last her for a whole day. And then I check her water, make sure she has water. But that's that. For the next animal, it is my birds. And um, they're, they're super simple. Um, actually, I would say the birds are the ones with the most variety in their diet because they're parrots. Their main staple is uh, pellets and seeds, of course. With them, I like to alternate their food, especially with Subi because he's older. One month, I'll buy like a whole bunch of pellets and that will last them for like three months and then the next batch I will buy just seeds and I will mix them together and then and that will last them another three months and then I buy another batch of pellets and so on and so forth. So I kind of go between seeds and pellets to kind of spice up their diet and they don't eat the same foods all the time. Right now their main food is pellets and the brand I use is Supreme. Um, another brand I like to use is Lefebvre's Nutriberries. I just pour their food in this bowl and then um, I just leave it down here and they will come down and eat. Putting the food on the floor encourages foraging which is like a natural tendency to kind of search for food on their own. So when they forage, they're like down on the ground digging and scurrying around and doing what 
little creature animals do. But that's it. And now for the cats. So Nardo is on a strict diet as prescribed by our vet. The veterinarian recommends that she does not gain any additional weight. So we have special food for her. It's like a weight management type food. And um, we feed it to her throughout the day in small increments. As you can see, I mean, she just loves to eat a lot. Both Apollo and Nardo have a SureFeed automatic pet feeder, which I highly recommend to anybody who has several cats in their house. With Apollo, he doesn't have any strict food requirements. Uh, we just feed him once a day with regular cat food, Hill Science diet. But with Apollo, I just put all his food all at once and he just goes in there and eats it. And um, that's all. Now it's time to feed the fishes. And for the fishes, I actually give them a combination of things. Um, Oscar fish tend to be really picky about what they eat, um, but I usually feed Olin's, the orange fish, the spirulina. I give both of them these cichlid pellets. So this one is a combination of both the really big pellets and small pellets. And I will show you how they eat. And it will just fall to the bottom. And Gallardo usually likes to eat it from the bottom. So does Olin's. I also will give them those flakes, which is considered their vegetables. Sometimes I like to feed them the shrimp. And these are cooked shrimp, really tiny shrimp. And I just tear them up and throw them in. I think he's super picky or he's being camera shy. He doesn't want to eat in front of the camera. Or it could be that he just doesn't like any of the food. You can't eat them, Nardo. Sorry. So next is Borla. I usually feed him cat food and hedgehog food and mealworms. And of course he is sleeping right now under there. But at night he comes out and he starts crunching. Sorry baby, I'm gonna bother you. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. And that is how I feed all of my animals. 
If you have a suggestion for a video or if you have a question, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to help as much as I can. And so that is all I have for today. Till next time, bye. Yeah, she's got some nice long hair And you know that she's a bad chick All the boys stare, can't help it, it's a habit Clothes that she wears, short skirt and a jacket